Hi there, I'm Penny Eggers, the clinical educator for Echo Healthcare, and I'd like to welcome you to the Echo Healthcare family. I'm going to be doing your virtual onboarding with you, but before we do that, there's a couple steps that you're going to need to do with your iSimulate to get started. I'm going to be showing you a step-by-step -step video on how to do that. Your iSimulate is going to come packaged in this nice suitcase. I'm going to get it out of the box. The first thing you're going to want to um, pull out is going to be your accessory kit. And in this accessory kit, you're going to find that you're going to have, here's what the accessory kit looks like on the inside. You're going to pull out your, if you have the iSimulate Pro, you're going to, it's going to come with an Apple TV, the remote, and the power cord for that. This is if you want to broadcast the debriefing and the scenario on a big screen, that's what you would use this for. The next in the pack is going to be your router, and you're going to notice that it's going to be labeled with a color. This one happens to be pink. That's so everything matches up, and that's going to come uh, make more sense when we get more into the uh, onboarding process. And it comes with a power cord. Now, this is not a data. It only is for peer-to-peer -peer communication, so this does not have any internet connection with it. The next item in your accessory pack is going to be a portable battery pack. This is to charge your iSimulate. It comes with its power cord. There's also going to be in the accessory pack your uh, charging cords for your iPads and it comes with bricks as well. In the suitcase you will also find the actual iSimulate monitor. And as you notice that in the front, it comes with the iPad is already installed in here. In the back, if you need to take it out for any reason, you'll have two screws here and you'll have a tool that it comes with, I'll show you in a minute, that to remove it. But you shouldn't have to really remove that front screen, but it's there just in case. You notice that it comes with two side pockets and a back pocket as well. In the back pocket, I've kind of taken the liberty to set this one up. You have uh, some simulated pieces of equipment. It comes with inline capnography. You have your electrodes. And this is the tool that you'll need to, uh, if you need to take out that front monitor. It's a specialized tool, so put this somewhere where you're not going to lose this. In the next pocket I'm going to show you is where you have your your electro pads and your therapeutic cables in here and you can set this up anywhere you want to I just happen to set this up uh, in, a, in a way that's familiar to me on the other pocket you have the simulated blood pressure cuff a your 12 lead cables and the 4 lead cables as well as a pulse oximetry probe. What's nice about this is you can, if you can see on the side, pull this down so you can see it. On the side, you have this area here. This is where you can attach the ends of your equipment. You notice that there's nothing that it attaches to, but if you just pinch the little tabs here, you can insert these uh, into an area where you can secure them, so you can't, uh, the, the, uh, the learner has to be tethered to the patient, that you're not just two feet away from them. It has restrictions on it like any other monitor would. Okay, I'm going to take this compartment off and put this to the side. And you notice that it has another area where you can open up. And this is where you're going to find your control pad, the charging cable for the monitor, and another portable charger. Because the, the router has to be plugged into a power source, and if you need to take this on the road where you can't, um, where you're not going to be next to the router, you can plug this router in, put them in here, and then you can take this on the go. Um, the charger that I showed you in the first video 
with your accessory pack. This is what you're going to plug into the, you're going to plug that into the wall and plug this end into so you can charge this when you're, when it's not in use. If you have the uh, iSimulate Pro, you will also get the recording monitor, and it will come packaged again in the box, and it will be color-coded to whatever simu iSimulate is color-coded to. And in the box, you will have another iPad, and it will come in this nice frame. Along with the, the iPad, you will be getting an accessory It comes in this, this leather, leather pouch. It is your lens that will be attached to the iPad. This is so you can get a very wide angle when you're recording. You'll get your uh, charging cables and you'll get the tripod stand. Now this tripod stand also comes with these accessories. This is just a, a lamp, a little, a little light that you can plug in here and a light will turn on and a charging cable. This actually goes into an end of a brick. It does fit into a brick, and this gets put into the, the, uh, the stand. That is in case if you want to charge, you can charge this up, and once this is charged up, you can use the lamp, or you can actually plug in your phone or whatever you want to do if you want it. This can be used as a portable charger as well, which is a nice little feature if you choose to use so. And we'll be setting this up in the next video. Okay, now that we've unboxed the iSimulate Pro, and this is your um, recording pad, you're going to take your lens, you take the lens caps off, and you're going to just screw on to the back. And now you're ready to record with the lens. You can take your tripod. This pops off. Has a nice leveler on it as well to make sure everything's level. And this just goes on to the bottom. There's another level on here, of another lever here, that just moves this around so you can adjust it. And once you get that adjusted, you just clip that out, and now it stays stable. Again, you let's talk about the controller. This is how you're going to control um, the scenario through this small iPad. You notice that it is also color coordinated to pink, so pink goes to pink. If you have multiple uh, I simulates, to turn it on. We're just going to push these two buttons on the side and hold it down, and you should see the Apple uh, come up, and that's how you turn on your Apple iPad. To turn on the large one on the monitor, there's a button here. If the monitor is facing out, it's going to be on the right-hand side. There's a button right here. You just kind of hold it down. It's this piece of plastic. In the beginning, it's going to be a little stiff because it's brand new and the plastic has not had any give to it yet. So just kind of push it hard, hold on, and you'll see that Apple sign appear and you know you've turned on your monitor. Before we set up the meeting to do our virtual uh, onboarding, there's a couple things that you're going to need to do prior to. This will help save some time. And one of those things is going to be updating the, the latest version and downloading the app. So what you're going to do is you're going to go to this area right here. This is your settings, this gray cog. You're going to open that up. And you're going to notice that you're going to need to sign into your iPad. So you're going to need to set up an iCloud, iCloud account. This can be any name that you want to make it, something easy, um, such as your agency, and then at iCloud.com. And when you set up this iCloud account, it's going to allow you to get to the Apple Store to download the app. You'll be able to upload into the cloud any kind of lab values or EKGs or pictures or whatever you want. That way you can easily um, drop them into any of the iSimulates that you have. So I'm going to set sign in to this iCloud account. That's going to be the first thing I need to do. So once again, 
Make it whatever is easy for you to remember. You don't want to forget what you use to create your iCloud account with. Okay, create a password that's going to be easy for you to remember. Write it down, keep it safe somewhere, but don't, re don't uh, forget it. Just, so make it something really easy that everybody's going to remember. And there's a lot of uh, security with Apple, so it's going to ask you for a two-step verification. And you can use this with uh, your a cell phone or an email address or whatever. There's, you should be getting not only this video, but you should be getting a, a welcome email that's going to also give you step-by-step -step on how to create your iCloud, iCloud account, which is very easy. Okay, so now we're logged on. We're going to have to make sure that we are on a Wi-Fi, not the router, because remember I said the router that comes with this is just for peer-to-peer -peer communication. It does not have internet or data transfer, so you have to log on to your local internet service. And once you do that, you're going to go to the general setting on the iPad account, and you're going to go to software update. You're going to click on software update, and it's going to see if there's any updates that need to be done. This is really important that you do it for every iPad that belongs to the iSimulate. Otherwise, if you don't do that, you will end up having a communication mismatch. So if you have an iPro Simulate, iSimulate Pro, then you have three iPads. All three iPads need to be updated. If you just have the iSimulate without the Pro, without the recording capabilities, you just have two. I recommend that you do this twice a year just to make sure that there's no latest version because it all has to be updated. So you can do it, let's say, on the time changes or season changes or whatever is convenient for you to remember to go and update your iPad. So all you're going to do is go to download and install. This actually takes, depending on your internet speed, 20 to 30 minutes. That's why we want to do this before we do any of the onboarding so we're not wasting any time. Um, in the next video, I'm going to show you how to find the app and to download the app. Okay, once you followed all the steps of updating your, your iPads and doing your iCloud account, we're now going to download the app itself. So you're going to go to your Apple App Store. You're going to hit continue. You're going to say allow while using app. You're going to go up to this blue little guy up on the top right hand corner, you're going to click on that. You're going to go to your purchase and you're going to find your apps. Um, once again, if this is the first time you're signing in, it's going to ask you to sign into your Apple iCloud with your Apple iCloud password, your login, which is going to be your iCloud email, and it's going to ask you for your password. So this one has already been logged into, so that's why you're not seeing that step, but it's going to ask you to verify that. Once you're in there, you're going to see that my purchase apps, I have the Aurora Stethoscope. I'm going to click on download that on the cloud. And then I have reality app right there. So I'm going to download and click on that app. And once again, when you're twice a year, when you're updating your versions on your, your software, on your iPads, it's a good practice to go in there and update your apps as well. So kind of twice a year, make sure your apps are updated. If they're updated, it's not going to show that needs updating. If it does need updating, it's going to say update, and so you just update the app as well. <clears throat> now we have these apps on our, on our monitors. So you're just going to go here, and now we have the app, as you can see. And every time on Apple products, when you use it, um, when you open an app, it's going to appear down here on the bottom. So that's why my Aurora's is not on the bottom. So I'm just going to go find that um, app right there with the stethoscope. I open that up, and that's where you see how you manage your, and set up your stethoscope. Once again, when we do our onboarding virtually, we can go over that process. And now you can see that they're both down on the bottom of my toolbar. So that's how you find your app and you download your app. If for some reason it does not show up under your purchases, all you have to do is type in iSimulate or type in Reality and that will you find the app for you. It's free, there's no charge, it's already been paid for in your purchase. And then you find the app using typing in the word iSimulate 
or you type in the word Aurorus, or you type in the word, rea word reality, and that will find the app, and you can download it that way if it's really not sitting up in, in the purchase part. Okay, once you've updated all your iPads with the latest version, and that you've downloaded your apps, and you've claimed your license, now we're going to go on to the next step, which is what you're going to be doing more of when you meet with me on the virtual one-on-one -on -one onboarding. But I'm just going to kind of give you a preview. As you see on my screens, I have the control monitor up, and I have the large participant monitor that's going to be inside your iSimulate itself. The first thing you want to do is you're going to go to your, your large control pad. You're going to find the app, which is the orange circle. You're going to open that up, and this is the screen it's going to take you to. And you can see what I'm doing it on here. It's just mirroring it onto my computer. I'm going to go to staging. I'm going to click on staging, and that's where you're going to start. The control pad, the small control pad here, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to go to my uh, reality um, app. I'm going to open that up, and it's going to take me to a similar screen, but instead of hitting staging, I'm going to hit control. And it's going to bring up this screen here. I'm going to go to um, tap to connect. And you see that my screen is connected to a couple things here. I have my controller and I have my monitor. So if you have the, I, the Pro, you're going to connect to both these because this is going to start your debriefing camera. So I'm going to connect to both of those. I'm going to check which monitor that I uh, have license for. In this case here, I have, I'm going to pick the LifePak 15. And you notice on the participant's monitor, there you have your LifePak 15. This is not going to turn on unless they actually push the buttons. And on my control pad, you can see here that I'm ready to start my scenario. And once again, when we do our one-on-one, -on -one, I'm going to talk a lot more about how to create your scenarios, how to run the scenarios, how, what all these dials mean, how to get that to come up on the big monitor, and we'll go through this. If you wish to play, go through and do this on your own and then have some questions ready for me, that would be great. That would uh, be a good start. But this is going to be really super intuitive. It's going to be easy. You're going to find this is a lot of fun to work with, and uh, I hope to see you soon. So go ahead and schedule that appointment with me, and we can talk further on um, all the things that the iSimulate can do.